hello and welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial I will tell you about loft tool so I'll go in as much detail as possible and try to explain most of the things which are included in loft tool so I want you to go to 3d modeling workspace so you can switch to 3d modeling workspace using uh, this drop down menu go to 3d modeling and on this uh, 3d modeling workspace I want you to keep your status toggle options as I have right now so you can turn this grid off we need to keep turn on only polar tracking object snap and object snap tracking now I will go and make the basic geometry which will explain what a loft tool is so for making the uh, normal geometry I'll go to this home icon this will take you to southwest isometric view and I'll hide this UCS we don't need it here now let's go to this circle and make a circle of any dimension okay so here we have and go to the circle again and with the same center make another circle of a little bit shorter length and now go to the same center and uh, this time I'll select a rectangle and make a rectangle something like this okay now I'll move these geometries into Z direction so select move click on this circle press enter click on the center of the circle and drag it upwards make sure that you are dragging it into Z direction and the green tracking vector you can see that green tracking vector so make sure these things are apparent on your screen so now drag it upwards and I've just dragged it to a distance of five units approximately now click on this rectangle select move tool go to the center and drag it also upwards and this time I will enter a distance of approximately 8 units okay this is okay now now we'll apply the loft tool since you can see that these three objects are into different planes and they are into different planes along X Y axis so now select loft tool you can find loft tool on a modeling panel and here is our loft tool so click on loft now on command line you'll see select cross section in lofting order so this lofting order is very important and I'll tell you why so at first I'll select these objects into this lofting order this is the first second and the third object and since we have selected this lofting order it will make a geometry something like this and press enter twice and here we have our geometry change to shaded mode and you can see the geometry now now let's go and change undo it and change the lofting order now so I'll go to loft tool again and change the lofting order so this is the first one now this will be the second geometry and this will be the third one and since I have changed the geometry since I've changed the lofting order the geometry will change itself now change to shaded view and you can see that the geometry is different now so this is what a loft order is so you need to be sure which loft order you want to use while using loft tool now let's go and explore some of the other features which are present in loft tool so I'll make a circle for this and let's track these centers to make a circle at the exact center of this uh, I'll delete this thing okay I don't need it here and let's make it a little bit bigger okay now go to loft tool and select these three circles in the lofting order and press enter now here we have a smooth fit curve you can change this to different type of curves for example if you want to change it to other types you need to just click on this arrow grip so click on that arrow grip and there you will find that it is currently set to smooth fit go to ruled and then you'll see the difference although you might not see the difference in uh, wireframe view so I'll change it to realistic and apply the process again so go to three cross sections press enter click on this arrow now here we are in this smooth fit go to ruled and this will be the geometry here so you will find the sharp edges at the cross section and there will be no smooth fitting here again we have all other options normal to all sections in this case the drawing will be the curve will be normal to the section so it will be normal to this curve this curve here it's normal and here also it's normal 
so and in this way you'll find all the other options here so okay now another option which we have is draft angle so now let's go and select this draft angle click on draft angle and as soon as you will do this you will find these two extra arrows now click on this extra arrow and you will find that a draft angle spinner will appear now click on this arrow and now you can change the draft angle in the way you want as you can see that I am capable of changing the draft angle now so click on this point now I have changed the draft angle click on this and you will find the angle spinner here also now I can change the draft angle here too so go ahead and explore all the features here so now I have changed the draft angle now press enter and here is our final geometry so as you can see that I have applied different methods to make this geometry and you can use it in the way you want and you can make many possible type of drawings using this loft tool and we are not finished yet we have many more things to explore here now let's go and look at the guide and path options of loft tool which are quite rarely used but yes these are also helpful so for using guide and path tool I'll make a rectangle first so make a rectangle and now let's go to left view so I went to the left view and change our view so go to this view on the coordinates and this will be your XY or the top view and make a rectangle again and okay we're done now let's go to the back view now the back view and change it to parallel and make one more rectangle here okay I just forgot to do this so change it to view go to rectangle and now here we have so go to home view and now you'll see three different rectangles in three different planes okay although you can see that these two rectangles are on the same plane you can go ahead and change their plane as well so I'll select it and move it to this direction and if you want to move it downwards go ahead and move it downwards as well so click on this track it a little downwards and there you go okay now here we have three different rectangles into three different planes now I'll make a guide curve so for making a guide curve go to the top view select spline and click on this center point now I will click on the center point of this rectangle as well so orbit it a little and select the midpoint make sure you're selecting the midpoint only to avoid any errors and on the midpoint of the third rectangle as well go to spline select the midpoint and the midpoint of this rectangle and the midpoint of this rectangle as well and now let's move on to this view and now as you can see that we have three rectangles with these two guide curves and now let's go and make this geometry so go to loft select this rectangle then this and then this rectangle and as you can see that this is sweeping this is making a loft along these three rectangles or these three cross sections but we wanted to follow these guide curves exactly so what I'll do just select these guide curves but for that first select enter now go to guides and click on this guide curve and on this guide curve as well and as soon as you'll do this you can see that the curve or the loft now follows exact guide and press enter again and here you have the complete geometry which is exactly following the guide curves on both the sides now let's go and undo this a little okay now we have made the guide curve now I will make the path so let's go and make a path using spline again uh, first I'll go to the southwest isometric view so go to southwest isometric view and now we'll make the path so to make a path I'll select a spline click on this point then on this point and on this point and here we have a path now so now we have a path along which we want to make this and now go to loft select this rectangle this one and this one in the lofting order which I showed you right now and press enter 
Now go to path and select this line as of a path and as soon as you will do this you will see that the curve now follows the path which we have specified and see it's following the path. So in this way you can specify a path which this geometry is going to follow. So this is how you're going to use loft tool and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment box and yes don't forget to subscribe if you want more great content on 3D AutoCAD. So thanks again and have a nice day.